What's up everybody? It's your boy Rich Rav, and today we got something called the license system. Now how this works is basically you are going to try and buy something or do something that requires a game pass, but in this case I'm just going to call it a license like to buy a vehicle or to buy a weapon. Uh, I remember I used to have this in a game where I used to require the people to have a, the weapon or firearm license. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'd like to start off by saying I'm at work right now, so I'm currently recording a video at work. So I do apologize for any background noise that you do hear, like with fridges or AC or TV or actual people coming in uh, to the place I work, trying my best at right now. So uh, this is how it's gonna work. It's gonna work with the click detector. So we're gonna go ahead and insert a click detector and the part, part name does not matter. And then what we're gonna be doing is go ahead and insert a script. Uh, I'm gonna call this like the game pass uh, checker. Basically it just works with game passes. So we're gonna go ahead and start by saying something about local, uh, we're gonna say game pass ID and I have mine post, uh, pasted to my clipboard, or sorry, copied to my clipboard uh, on my device. So that's a Game Pass ID. You can find it by going into the URL of a Game Pass. Um, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna say script.parent.clickdetector. Now, if this does not auto-complete, I know I say sometimes it doesn't auto -complete. This one has to, like it literally shows. If it doesn't, then please check it you may have done something wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and auto-complete that and we're gonna say when, uh, we're gonna say mount, oh, we're gonna say dot mouse click. So you can do it when they click, that's what I do. We're gonna say connection, or connect, sorry. And then say PLR. So this is a built-in Roblox function. So when they say, when they click the Roblox part, it's basically going to send through the server that we are clicking the part. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say if game get service, you can do this as a variable. I don't really feel like it right now. So we're going to say marketplace service. Make sure that's real specific. We're going to say user. So right here, be specific. User owns game pass. I already messed up. So make sure you see exactly what I'm seeing a sync right here I'm gonna say PLR dot user and then with that we're gonna say ID comma after that add game pass ID our variable then we're gonna say, well, basically it's self-explanatory. We're gonna say then print, we can, or we have a license. We'll say that. Then we'll add a little else, we'll say else. Print, uh, don't have the game pass, therefore no license, okay? Again, sorry for any background noise. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's gonna show up, make sure before you test, ID is like this. Now that we've loaded in the place, we're gonna go and give this a little click and don't have the game pass, therefore no license. I don't actually own that game pass. It's part of a group game that I have and I do not own it for purpose of this video. Now, notice how it does not say, it didn't give me the little prompt warning. Um, check out Nil to Mill. I'm gonna be posting a game pass uh, tutorial on that sooner or later. But if you wanted to prompt it, you would just use the same thing. Um, you'd say the game pass and then you'd say prompt user game pass. Uh, you can look it up in the Roblox wiki. But it's that simple, guys. It's basically just if you have it, I call it license, I call it deed. You can do this for house, you can do this to enter an area, anything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching this short tutorial. Have a great day. Check out Limitless Gamer, everybody. You already know. All that revenue is going to go into my new Roblox game called Infinite Driver. Link to that will also be in the description. Peace!